Greetings, I am Lyle. And I am Scandal. And, and let's, let's play a game, game together. together. All right. All right, all right. So we have to admit that we either lost or YouTube ate episode 69 of uh, this series. And we've already finished the series, but then Arrow253, we appreciate you, came in and noticed that it was not there. We searched everywhere and we cannot find it. So we are redoing it. it. Yep. All right, so interestingly enough, with this game, to be able to get back to this episode, we had to go from the end of the game where we were all the way back to the beginning and play all the way through. Yes. Uh, something useful to know that might not be useful to you now that you're this far in the game is that it only takes um, just over a 1,000 coins to buy enough tickets to get all the way through the game. Yes. Because you can exchange your gold coins for tickets in the exchange um, location. Here, let me yes. show this real quick. So if you go so to the shop and you go to exchange... You can literally just use your coins like, oh, okay. to buy these things. And it gets better. So with um, 10 story tickets, pays for... Um, Most of it. Because I think there are 13 chapters total, basically. Yeah. Please come back. Oh, it's uh, just an ad. We're okay. Oh, scary. All right, who's huh? scary? Okay, so things that I noticed when I was clicking through the game really, really quickly that we didn't notice when we were going through the game slowly. Yes. Um, and I just wanted to cover these really quick because it was kind of a valuable thing to notice because we've, not we've noted that this game is probably very different with two people playing it. Oh, yeah, And absolutely. as well as thinking about it the whole way through. So um, I noticed that the drama of the week, like, sort of cycle, um, it still feels a little weak, like, story-wise, but it does keep things moving and pops a little bit better when you're just clicking straight through. Yes. I also noticed that um, there were a couple of comedy beats that we sort of missed, including when Rai came out after us after our birth, you know, during our birthday party, um, and we went back inside and, and ran into... Um, uh, Dylan in the bathroom. Right. That uh, he had just warned us. They have really weird rules in the Dragon Kingdom. Be really careful so those other guys don't trap you into, you know, marriage or something. And immediately you walk inside and there's Dylan with a shirt off going, Ah, you've seen me. You have to marry me. That's the rule. Right. So it was kind of funny. And there were a couple other places where there was like little comedy basically beats that if you don't go through it very quickly, they don't work. We also found out... Ah, that Phoenix is actually apparently supposed to be offensive slash basically lower class. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, he's supposed to be the dude from Osaka. And for those of us um, in the United States, that basically means he's more or less supposed to be a redneck or a hillbilly. Yep. Um, which is how they usually translate it into English. So whenever you hear a voice uh, from in an anime, where in English they've decided to, one, give them like a Scottish brogue or give them something like, you know, yeah, we Oh, what's up? How can I help you today? Kind of thing. Southern. Um, if you give them some sort of southern twang, that's actually mostly, as far as I understand personally, that that's a character that's supposed to be basically from Osaka. Mm -hmm. um, or just, again, one of those characters that's supposed to be the more aggressive one. If you hear from Obey Me, that basically means um, basically a character like Mammon. So Mammon is supposed to be a lower class kind of character. You're more which rough, is why you're less refined, uh -huh. you're more direct. Yes, and so he truly is not supposed to be an appropriate character. Yeah, now we didn't catch that about Phoenix when we were going slowly, but once I was clicking through really quickly, it was really obvious. Yeah. Again, that sort of comedy beat kind of way. Two guys that are ready to compose. Phoenix, over here, something in left field every yes. time. And then going, damn it, man, why? Uh -huh. And so it wasn't as obvious, again, playing through the game um, uh, quickly, or like slowly and thinking about it. But those were some things that I noticed. Additionally, I noticed that... With the really tiny dialogue boxes, like right here, the only thing in it is whatever, um, it really drives you to continue clicking through the game. So uh, it sort of sets you up stylistically to want to click through very quickly right. so that you don't think too deeply about anything, but it also gives you a moving experience that's really easy to go through yes. by giving you these really tiny cliffhanger chunks of dialogue. Right. And I imagine that's something that people that play these games or are in the fandom of Otomi games know really well, and they're just going, guys, you guys are digging into this way too hard, or that's right. not how it's supposed to be played. Which is also one of the things that I have sometimes been like, my friend, we don't know, we've got to keep going kind uh -huh. of thing. And sometimes where we will ask very, what well, probably are very obvious questions that sometimes the game will obviously answer, we'll go, thank God somebody got to it, is because we're very concerned, because we're also, I think, mostly still trying to read this as a book, uh -huh. not as something where it's like literally each page is one set of words. Uh -huh. It's like a sentence is a maybe couple, like you get lucky if you get a couple sentences, but yeah. it's mostly a sentence or a phrase and that's about it. And then it's trying to get you to go through it. Unlike where in books you have significantly more content and you can have much more context as a result. Yeah, so it's significantly more context because you don't go, 
wait, what does this mean? And you'll lose it if you click forward. And I think that's part of the model of going, you can't think too deeply about it. Not only does the uh, convention drive you forward because of tiny little chunks of dialogue, mm -hmm. but it also uh, doesn't allow you to ever look at all of it as a big picture right. because of that. So it makes it harder to analyze and keep in your mind. Yes. At any rate, we're going to move forward as normal, but thank you for that. And Arrow, we appreciate it. And uh, we're going to get this thing going. Yes. Ugh, whatever. Hmm. Let's All right. See. I march away from there, trying not to let their words get to me. Hmm. Mm. I wonder where the dragon princess got off to. I mean, all three of them must always be attached as a unit. I mean, they clearly were all a unit. They were originally out there dancing on the dance floor, so they're probably all rocking out. You know, I it just makes sense to me. Love them dancing together. I still am just like, I want to see that so oh, hard. A threesome like, of all of them dancing la, at the la, same la, time. La, I actually remember one of them stepped out, so we had two of them together. Oh, oh, it was just true. it was very pretty. Yeah, but it'd still be very lovely and very nice. Uh, very nice. Alright, <clears throat> Miss, will you come with me, please? Uh-huh. Why? Just come with me. But I haven't done anything wrong. You're going to throw me out of my own party? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> You're the guest of honor, after all. I, I, I hello, so. right? Hi, Rai. I was like, why, why would you do this? A pillar by himself. <laughs> in, you know, in this space of... I I will call to you through the masses of the crowd. I'm also kind of confused and, whoa, I'm, I, I, he's on a balcony. Okay, well, the thing that I also find to be really confusing about that anyway is why would you use a security guard to basically hunt you down where it would be pretty easy probably to see you? And it sounds like we can hear him pretty easily. So uh, why wouldn't he just talk to us or yell down from the balcony? That seems unusual. Maybe he was trying to avoid yelling down. And then, no, no, and then when we didn't go with the security guard, because despite the loud music and despite the crowd, he can hear what's going on and we can hear him pretty well. All right. Because of acoustics, we'll argue. Just, oh, no, 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 oh, dragon, dragon slayer powers. Right, dragon slayer powers and, and dragon, dragon powers. powers because, yep. again, she is highly genetically privileged yep. and is way better at a lot of things. Yep, yep. I say, anyway, so he probably just assumed the security guard would just come and get you and you'd go with it with him. Yep. And then when that didn't happen, he's like, okay, this isn't working. Hi, you Yo. know. Yeah, so hey. I'm... Hello, up here. Yep. I'm guessing that one. I'm guessing he didn't plan on talking to us initially. Yep, that also, would make sense. Also, I'm guessing probably the he's there waiting in this sort of setup kind of thing, so he doesn't want to come get us himself. Ah. And so the security guard, he's like, hey, could you go get her and bring her to me? She, you know, she's got the VIP pass. But he didn't explain linguistically of going, hey, someone's got a surprise for you. Come with me. Right. Where we would be like, oh, okay. As opposed to, miss, come with me. I, th that is actually a thing that they try to teach you in regards to being a security guard, is that if somebody asks you to help with something, you want to be very clear with the people that you're working with, mm -hmm. because sometimes people will assume bad things about you because, yep. you know, you're a security guard. You never know what's going to happen. Yep. So, so that, that is what I guess. I look up. Seeing him standing on a balcony overlooking the dance floor. Okay, I'm just imagining overlooking him on the, dance floor. the rail on the balcony, just uh -huh. standing on the balcony. <laughs> him on the edge. Hey, what's up? I look amazing. You can see Phoenix all down of there. Wait, what? Phoenix dancing with Dylan. I excuse you. Uh, I, really? I, I must be a VIP section. I guess. What are you doing up there? I yell over the crowd and the music. I mm. hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of booking us this little section so we could have a bit of privacy. And I went, uh, do we need privacy when you invited everybody, their brothers, cousins, and even people I don't know very well or connect to, to my going away party? I... I... Privacy for what? Uh, huh. why don't you come up here and find out? Uh, that is not encouraging given the last time I was up on top of something with you. It got a little... A little intense. Uh, also, have I ever written a scene with a balcony in it? Because I need to know before he tries to reenact it. Oh, God, that is a thing to be concerned about. Plus, also at the same time, too, aren't you just here kind of now to just have a party and be here for yourself? I don't understand what's going on. What is he doing? Well, that's what I was doing. And the Oh, uh, God. Okay, okay. So I thought about this before, and I'm just going to reason it out again because, you know, we're not pretending we haven't done this. But we are having, you know, you can't duplicate your material perfectly. Oh, yeah, I say, but So last time I didn't do this one because I argued for two things. One, I didn't want to show the girls who had just been kind of bitches that this was my fiancé, because clearly I went to be alone with him. Yes. And so I argue, I, I don't want to go up there going, oh yeah, let me confirm that that is the one I'm choosing. Right. And I don't want it to look socially to my other two dragon boy friends 
Uh, Because you're kind of, they're all three your boyfriends at this point, because they're all dating you. Right. All All on an equivalent level. But they're trying very hard to be equivalent about it. Uh Uh-huh. Even though they're all kind of, you know, it's a little uneven, but it's okay. They're trying their best. They're they're doing what they can. They really are. What are they doing? Their best. Their best. Anyway, so um, that I don't want, I didn't want any social pressure or experience of the other two going, oh, she's, you know, socially going to declare that she's with him. Right. By going off alone with him in front of everyone. Right. Or that the other girls would then go, oh, so that one's your boyfriend, so we can hit on the other two. Right. Uh Uh-huh, that kind of thing. And then also going, uh, as small, she made it very clear that she didn't want to be thinking about all the stuff that's overwhelming her. She doesn't want to be thinking about having to choose a husband. She doesn't want to be thinking about having to date any of them. She's really just trying to dig in and get to know them. And so it was really this experience of going, I don't think she would want to do that because that's really a, oh, now we're trying to build the romance with you and now you're really trying to do this sort of last desperate attempt of, you know, hey, be close to me and I'll mm. tell you one more time that I super Hit love me, you. Hit me, baby, one more time. So I'm I'm going to ask Rai to join the party because I don't want to think about the fact that I'm trying, that, that I have to eminently marry one of them. Right. And that they're all trying to get me to do so. Also, we can't afford it. <laughs> I mean, we could have afforded it earlier, but I spent uh, them on something else. Yeah, that's so totally we could fine. totally afford it if we wanted to, but that we didn't do it in the original one. Yes. All right. Come on, Rye. Why don't you come down here and mingle? I'm good. Thanks. And then he Bye. just stays there. He's anyway, just like, I'm I, grumpin and cowboy. I wanted you to come up to me. You won't come up to me, bitchy and cowboy. Oh, <laughs> bitchin and cowboy. Damn, I don't know. Is I it like? I just can't believe it. Tantrum and cowboy. Oh, tantrum and cowboy sound. Tantrum and cowboy. I just, I... I'd really rather watch you from here. Which isn't weird. Us right. going... Exactly. Wait. Creepy? You're gonna just sort of... Stare at me? Voyeur us from up on the balcony? Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm just gonna watch you and I like watching you dance. Come on, little girl, get that doggy moving! It's a little weird having you watch me dance from up there when I'm literally going to be dancing with the other two guys that are a part of this quad, you know, quartet. Also, yeah. also, my bro, my bro, um, do you realize that when I was talking to the girls, they were like, those three guys have been all over you, so you're not going to be involved, and you're going to be watching two other guys be all over me. Dylan, I have learned the ways of the humans and how they dance. There is much grinding involved, but it is not personal, so I can do it. <laughs> it's fine. I have, I have the ability to do so. I'm just imagining that Phoenix being like, wow, this is really intense. Okay, let's do it. I like this kind of dance. It's not really personal, but also at the same time, it looks like a good time. It's really yeah. a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot more clothes involved, though. There's a lot of clothes involved. God, oh. you guys wear so many clothes here. Uh, my, when, when I'm with my harem, we're all almost always nearly naked. Like, it's really good. That's really good. It's really or, good. Or, you know, just perfectly dressed. Actually, not naked. Perfectly dressed. All right, well, yeah. We're, we're way less dressed than this. We're perfectly yeah. dressed. Yeah, perfectly dressed. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, naked. Naked. <laughs> God, I've seen them. They are all nude. Naked. The Fire Nation is almost always nude. It's really them. offensive to the water dragons, like, all the time. We just wear a lot of beautiful... And the whole thing that we talk jewelry, about with yep. the melting gold and the gemstones uh-huh. and the jewelry and stuff, they're like, we're fire dragons. We can literally smelt things on our body, you know? Well, why wouldn't we? We why? look fantastic. It's we look brilliant. like the uh, Kintsurugi, mm-hmm. that thing with the Japanese pottery where they reforge it using the gold. Oh, yeah. So imagine them melting it and it, like, just seeps down in the cracks of their scales. It's just... Oh. Uh, this gorgeous looks experience. amazing. Then, and especially, like, then they control their temperature, so it's, like, just slowly melting. Uh-huh. Or you have a hotter burn kind of thing, so it just sort of wafts off of you kind of thing. Or you're That's... wearing jewelry that doesn't that has an extremely high melting point, but it's glowing red hot kind of Ooh, thing. Ooh, that would be so good. Like, so much. And you have much. different kinds of, like, looks that you're going Fire for. Fire dragons are massively extra, and half of what they spend their time learning their powers on is controlling individual pieces of their body heat. Oh, that would be so cool. So much fun. Anyway, I'm fine. We're, we're right. just going to add lore to this. Oh, so, actually, that was another thing that my friend actually mentioned and oh. that also we saw was it picking so out of curiosity we picked some of the other options and guess what we discovered there's apparently a little bit more lore to this now i don't really know all the specifics but there is definitely more going on like for example um we actually had to redo this particular scene because we figured oh we could just pick the other dialogue option and see what happens uh-huh. and it didn't give us the same response we went shit we're gonna have to redo this but it came out going it's apparently been a few months since right. Small has actually known the dragons, and we're both sitting here going, like, it feels like it's been a couple of weeks. Maybe. Maybe. Like, and the thing was, is it was interesting, because instead of 
going, you girls have had too much to drink. If you choose the option of um, they're out of your league, right? they get offended. Like, I, you said, what? Excuse me. And then Small is like, look, I've been getting to know them really well over the past few months. Right? So it's not even a couple of months. It's a, it's few, a few months. months which could so be like, anywhere from three to, to what? Five. To five? Mm-hmm. Something like that? Yeah, so three, been, I think five is the max for a few. Okay. It, it has been some time, and we were both like, well, at least it would make more sense, you know, logistically, but it's still really confusing timeline-wise because they're not very good at showing short hops or long hops, really. I'm also so. just like, okay, two things. One, they've been living with your grandpa for, you know, three to five months. Uh, I know! And then two, um, they, that they've all been wearing the exact same clothes the entire time. Also, at the same time, too, they know nothing about our world. I'm like, they're so bad at our world. Like, except damn. Except for Rye. Except for Rye. I like, like watching you dance. All right, so he likes watching us dance, and we're going... You like watching the other two dragons sort of grind and get down and dirty with me and, and uh-huh. cuddly on the dance floor. Oh, okay, okay, sure. Weird. I feel myself blush at the way he says it, where it sounds like he wa- likes watching the three of us have a dancing threesome together, and that's a little bit kind of wild. Because even me, I don't think of it as personal. It's just that's how you just dance. It's a thunder dragon thing. You wouldn't know about it. We actually have very long, elaborate dances that involve a lot of people getting up close and personal when we start storms that way. And you all watch each but other I kind left, of do it because it's a lot. I live just... too early, though, to really control my powers or my abilities really well, but uh, I still. Yeah, and... Uh, I was also frustrated. There was a couple of times where I didn't pick the premium option because I was just clicking through, which they do save your um, purchases. So if you've bought through and you go through the game again, your premium options no longer show as premium or are distinctive in any way. They're just a free choice that you can choose. Right. Um, so you have to remember which one's the premium if you, you forgot. But also there was a couple of times where I didn't choose the premium one because I was curious, curious just clicking through really quickly. And you actually got a couple, a little bit more lore in some of the non-premium options. Uh-huh. You get less kissing and more lore. And I'm like, I wanted more story. So he actually explains that he never learned how to use his powers very well. Because and it's not specifically like I'm not very good at it, the sort of thing of going, you know, I, the, you know, the storms kick up when I'm emotional. He's specifically like, I left so young that I never got a full handle on it. Yeah. And you're going, oh, you left a long time ago, or basically on dragon years, that this was a big deal. Yes, exactly. I I feel myself blush the way he says it. What's that supposed to mean? It means that I find your dance moves both sexy and hilarious at the same time. Which I find slightly offensive, even still. Like, even after having gone through this whole game, I'm like... This is a little bit offensive, my bro, uh-huh. going, you are sexy, because inherently you, small, are sexy. But God, you're such a bad dancer. He. <laughs> I mean, I could see how it could be fun, but the fact that you're supposed to be basically trying to figure out who you're going to end up marrying, it feels a little insulting. It's a little rough. And I'm just like, eh, don't like, but so it's fine. it might be supposed to be sort of cute, but I don't, I don't get it. The whole hilarious thing. If uh, such a thing were possible, which means in the end, I probably mostly find it funny, and you're just mostly funny more than just sexy. So it's okay. You you yourself are sexy, but the dance moves you're really bad at dancing. <laughs> oh my you're god, real bad. <laughs> All right, fine. Stay up there and keep perving on me, and I will sandwich myself between the other two hot dragons and not think about any level of dating or sex or marriage or any heavy or anything. I'm just gonna have a lot of fun and use my body. Yep, and It'll also just get away, and I don't want to think about actually the marriage or any of it, so screw you all, yep. I'm having fun. We're going to just have fun and get sweaty and get messy, and God, I'm still gross from work, but and this I'm is fine. I'm 21 and I can drink, screw you all. All right, and I might have... I fun. will! Ha. Huh. I'll, just, I'll just be like, yes, I am a pervert, thank you. I move through the club, searching for the other dragon princes. I can't see any sign of Dylan. I could just yell up to the balcony, hey, from your vantage point, can you see either of them? But, right. I, but I don't. Uh, nope, I'm just watching you. But I'm not even dancing. Yep, still watching you. He's not exactly the partying type, so far as I know. So it wouldn't really surprise me if he stepped out for a break or something. It too is overwhelmed. Too crowded in there. But what about... Boom. Oh. I love oh, this. Wow. The first time I was also just like, okay. My friend was just like, what is that? And I'm like, I bet it's Phoenix. And I was like, what? You're kidding. And I'm like, no, I bet you it's Phoenix. And I bet it's about the alcohol. And I bet it's amazing. Uh-huh. And it was such a good, I'm so mad we lost it, but it was such a good call because it really is. Because it was accurate. All right. I... What was that? It sounded like an explosion. It happened by the bar? That's where I last saw Phoenix. 
Oh shit! Did we get a fire dragon next to all the alcohol? <gasps> oh, the God. fire dragon going. I was gonna perform this really cool trick, and then you know what happened? Like your like burning point or explosion point on your alcohol really is very different compared to the dragon world. Like damn, yo! Like honestly, your your alcohol, and, like the way you distill it or how what temperature you keep it, whatever it is, what or, like, it's made out. Or, of. Oh yeah, what it's made out of. Like instead of just like burning beautifully with like glorious colored flames across the table, which is what I wanted, it just blew up right in everyone's face like it just shocked right down in the bottles and just blasted everything fortunately as a fire dragon i just contained it all so it didn't like shatter glass into people's faces and burn off their eyebrows Phoenix. and things but but it really it should have worked so like i've done this a lot of times at home burning stuff is my specialty it should have been great ah <sighs> uh, the smoke activates the overhead sprinklers spraying water everywhere oh i am no, everyone's in yep ah! the crowd freaking the hell out everyone screams and rushes towards the exit in a panic oh my god we're dead they're stampeding they're stop it's a stampede <laughs> i looks at the wildebeest coming for you father no <laughs> no <sighs> simba <laughs> I looks for your grandfather who had been staggering boldly around does, no does that make cry Oh. Scar. Oh my god, Rai. Because he's up, on up the there as car. Scar. Die! The stampede <laughs> running by, I will kill your dragon slayer grandfather, and then you will have no guidance. He's never given me any guidance, guidance anyway. anyway. You will have no guidance. guidance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. All right. They're going to knock me over. Oh. Oh, just me, just me. They're going to knock me over. But they're going to knock me over in the next episode because... Yes. Absolutely. Thank you very much, guys, then, for joining us. We appreciate you joining us for this repeat. Woo! Woo! Um, other than that, though, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, thank you to Arrow253 for yes. noticing our mistake or yeah. slash our loss of, of that particular file. Uh, it is very appreciated. But we hope you enjoy this one and this redo. Yes. Um, so, but other than that, if you also want to support us more directly, please feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or our Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And other than that... I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.